Five, four, three, oh. Missed Acme is, oh, there was the S. You're right, all right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. There we go. Unless it crashed. Nope, there we go. And we got, nope, we got Mon Maker. You got sniped. Sorry about that, Acme. All right, and so she's got the nice tracer pistols. I'm good to go. I do appreciate that this is one of those that we absolutely can just uh, do as kind of a community tonight thing. I was only half listening to stream as I was doing a run. <laughs> you didn't even mean to snipe it. You just popped in. Yeah, no shade on that, though. Reloading. Oh, so she has, like, a, a hologram thing. All right. I, wa I, I really want to see if I can go for, like, a skill build where I'm summoning multiple things at a time. I feel like that would just be rad. I hey, look, I'm a sucker for minion masters. Huh. Guess I should probably summon... Friendo. And hopefully I can find a replacement for this. Nope. Okay, reduce school cooldown on Beast Call. Yes. Uh, this way? This way. Not actually sure if... Going for the money is worth it. The beam seems okay. Maybe good. Maybe. Okay. Extra damage based on how far you are? Eh. Shield when the weapon is not in use. Nah. Okay, super shield dash, crit hit chance, wind taking damage. Nah. I'm curious about what the uh, the frost nova is. Did it just kill my worm? Is my worm just kind of not great? Oh. I was really hoping my worm would be, like, a beast. But then again, that sucker always seems to be kind of strong. So we will see. Hey, thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for gifting Emberator a sub. Thank you, Xbound, for the 14-month resub. Whoops. Summon worm. I think gameplay wise, the character I've I've jived with the most really is the the healer. For that absolutely ridiculous uh for that absolutely ridiculous attack speed boost. Like that just seems way too good to ignore. It's, okay, let's let's see. Big worm versus dude man. It just dies. I uh, I don't I don't know. I'll just have to invest some points and we will see. Worst comes to us, I just become the albatross and then we die. I think the worm just attacks once and leaves. I. Hope not. I mean, possibly, but I hope not. I'll just grab that. I, I just, I don't know.
Yeah, because I was really hoping the, uh, the, the worm would, like, wail on something for a while. You know, stick around for a decent amount of time. Okay. Freeze the ground. Gain invulnerability on use. Ooh. I'm going to grab the ultra beam boost. That might actually make it really good. Ah, don't care about those. Alright, we good? We good. Let's fight this guy again. Wait, no, this wasn't the one that killed us. The last run. I... Okay, so it, it definitely attacks multiple times. I did actually freeze it, so maybe it's just a chance. Yeah, maybe I should spec into Ultra Beam instead. Because especially with that invincibility thing in the freeze, I can see Ultra Beam just being tremendously better. Oh, boss is dead. Alright, what's this one have? I just need school, uh, skill cooldowns. You can grab that. I am... I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I... Oh, gun? Gun for me. Broker cannon. Yes. Oh. Oh! That's a different one. I'll take it. Alright. It, it's another defense. Unfortunately, too poor. Can't get any skills, but that's okay. I was within radius recover 20% of max HP. Ooh. I'm gonna grab the ice wave. Oh, that includes those. This gun's kind of fun. I wonder what the max range on it is. Boy, this. This is absolutely a, a great advertisement for playing the the buffer. Cause can you imagine this gun but with like serious attack speed boosts? Oh it'd be good. Yeah, right now I'm I'm a little here and there. Weightless handgun and cannot fist. I think we were supposed to activate those turrets. Oh, well, who needs turrets anyway, right? Okay, recover HP. Eh. What I want is skill cooldowns if I can. New skill cooldown by a second when taking damage. Ideally, not that one. What I really want is the skill cooldown based on not firing your weapon. It's apparently going to be on Xbox as well. There's a playtest last week. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be on PC and Xbox, which... And I think it has cross-play too. Go larger beam. I guess I'm going to just get the power charge counter module. Is this a, another boss fight or is this just a regular? I don't know. I'm going to wait before I adventure out. Oh, yep. It ice worm. I can hit his, I can hit that ice worm with my ice worm. Nice worm. Ah, 
I am decidedly meh about this character. I think maybe I just gotta get the correct build for it, but uh, she seems just kind of okay. That mountain kraken. I guess with some heavy crit, Ultra Beam would be good. But it's it's a far cry from doing hundreds of thousands of damage with every shot. Ooh, that guy hurt. Unfortunately, you know how I said earlier that I was going to be the the albatross? Oops. I am in fact the albatross. I mean at least this this gun does some does some juice. There we go. I almost kind of wish there was like a uh, on three it auto fires. I always end up waiting for maybe a little too long at max charge, just being like, is it max charge yet? I don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, you did take a lot of damage. It did? Finally. Guess I'm gonna grab those. That we are running low on respawn, so I, I don't know. Well, those actually... Those, eh, then again, I don't freeze enemies a whole lot. Not as much as I'd like to. Have you seen the kill all eggs in X amount of time level? No, I haven't. Keep in mind this character is a starter character. Fair. Though, I think I, I will always be of the preference of every character should be equal. Um, You know, there, there should be no such thing as like starter character, therefore weaker character. Because honestly, like, jungler is pretty dang good. At least the last run I did with jungler, dude hit like a truck. Okay. Summon adi an additional beast. I like the idea of reset ultra beam cooldown on successful dodge. I'm just going to go for the 30% cooldown reduction. I like the su successful dodge thing, but I'm not often... Oh, M Raider died. Uh-oh. I did say I was going to be the Albatross. But I guess I haven't died yet. So really, everyone is an Albatross. Is everyone just dead? Oh, yep, Mom Maker died. All right. I'm just gonna freeze him. I can't seem to revive Mon Maker, so I'm just not gonna. Not gonna bother. Keep my distance. Wow. That's, uh... Takes a while. <laughs> what happens when I do not have a good gun? Or anything else? Oh, no, we straight up just lost, uh, Mon Maker.
All right, that's uh, that's a bad. One thing I'd definitely like to see this game get is uh, rejoining. That's always like one of my big-ish fears. Okay, well, M Raider, you wanna? Hmm, I don't want to say. Honorable Sudoku, but this run's got some, uh, got some narsties to it. Oh, I can, I can move while using Ultra Beam. Why have I not tested that one? Yeah, let's, uh, let's just, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Let's just, uh, Honorable S Sudoku here. If I can? There we go. Let's let's start this one over. Let's get Monmaker back. And uh I will play as not this character. She seems okay and I could probably see some pretty good builds with her. Uh but I I want to do one final run with uh with the healer chick and just go like maximum attack speed. Let's see if Hammer Boy is is beef chunk. I like that void. I want to make it bigger, but mostly I want to focus on this. Attack speed by an additional 50%. Yeah, that is just way too good to pass up on. Anything else? The answer is no. Alright, down we go. Yep. It seems like Hammer, Hammer Man here is... Uh, Ready to mulch. Uh, let's see. Increased damage to petrified enemies. Yeah. That's actually really good on me. I mean, technically good on any of us. Oh, I guess that's just a no-go zone. What we got here? Okay, do we actually... No, I think we killed everything. Well, they did. I just showed up at the end to kind of help. Restoration of status effects on enemies. I mean, that would mean longer petrification, which is good. But I want to grab the weapon power. Because the extra petrification is handy stuff. Oh, and frozen. And fun. Alright, what do you got down here? Here? Here. Just really dig the petrification, it's just kind of a bonus on top of this character. There we go. Max HP. Yeah, I'll go track her head. Ooh! Ooh! So the tracker handgun is is also a a homing shot. Okay, we have more enemy. We do. Go up. Go with that. Bees! Anybody up for bees? I like bees. I'm just gonna keep getting sandstone. Even though I currently don't petrify that much. Let's see. Increase movement speed. I think I got that. I'm not sure. Yep. And that is why I was kind of eh on the last character. They, she just doesn't have that level of just like ridiculous, I can do this. 
energy. Are we back at the start? We're back at the start. I think Hammer Boy knows where to go. And I'm just kind of falling behind. I mean, I guess I might as well grab... On Maker, I might have to just rely on you for that. I am tragically not that good at box breaking. It is not this character's forte, or mainly the, not this gun's forte. Well, I dig the extra max HP. That's gonna go a ways. Please stop. I don't like getting stun locked. Pretty much in any game. It's always just uncomfortable. Let's see. Sniper? Nah. None of these are that helpful. What about over here? I want is skill cooldown. 10%. I don't even need skill power that much, I don't think. I just want to be able to pop my survival thing constantly. And the answer is we still haven't found the exit yet. Really? Wow. Maybe it's up over here. Nope. Teleporter? Teleport. Aha! Found it! Of course, now I'm completely on my own in this, but that's okay. Eat bees! Oh, and that's Mom Maker. Well, it's fine. We also win. All right, what do we got? Immunity to shock effects, generator shields. Nah. Anything else fancy around here? Oh, we're back here. I will just grab this. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. Oh, that's okay. You, nope. Leaving this area, moving on to the next. And that is... That is a horror. Okay, what do you got for me? Reduces cooldown, increases effect, or... Attack speed by 50% for... Yep, that's going to be solid. The combination of those two is going to be wild. The rest of these are really helpful for me. I just want to have maximum... Uh, let's see. I just want to have maximum attack speed. There we go. <laughs> ah yes, the boss. The boss that is permanently frozen and or petrified. That's uh that was a good fight. Uh, let's see, ignore enemy defense. Uh, might actually be nice. EA is testing out being able to see inside a loot box before you buy it. Huh. May maybe? Well, oh, you guys are just gobbling up the goodies. Oh well. I definitely will have to say Increasing weapon drop might be a skill worth investing in, or a perk worth investing in, purely for that extra ability to just, um, well, arm myself properly. Oops. Wrong way. Okay. Cooldown, reduces cooldown. I don't really care too much about Sandstorm.
Okay, so my crit's real good. My damage leaves a little bit to be desired, but I have a decent shield. And now we've got that. Yeah, I've just gotta I've just gotta hyper reduce the uh, the cooldown on my attack speed boost and we'll be very much in business. Eat bees. This is so cheesy, I love it. Nope. Why does this guy get all the weapons? <laughs> I mean it probably doesn't help that Monmaker and I are are sharing what loot drops we can get. I don't think Sniper Scope is really that helpful for me. I'll grab Power Suit though, just because. I don't want to get one shot. So, he's like, pay us a dollar to look inside this three dollar loot box before you pay for it. You know, <laughs> that would be the shittiest thing, but it's probably true. Your HP Relic. Suffer. Because I, I like these, I like the tracker pistol, but it, uh, not very strong. Reduce the cooldown on that. Wings of speed would have been lovely. Many of these would be great. Alright, whatever. We... Can I actually see what your HP totals are? Nope. Okay, extra attack buff in your bubble again? Cool. And it's it's the rip dude. Okay. Give him the sweet petrification. And fortunately, ow. Yeah, this guy's beams are kind of toasty. I'm not actually sure what that does. There we go. I think my damage is pretty dang solid. There we go. Last round. I just died. Don't know what killed me. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I, I've noticed that sometimes with this game that it's just kind of like... You get hit... Usually it's the big laser. But some of the boss hits are just, like, absolutely stinky. And just churn through you for seemingly no reason. Uh, let's see, you might want to grab that Crisis Recovery gear. any of those, but that's fine. We got one respawn left. We'll see if we can pull this off, but honestly, even if we can't, it's okay. I had a good time with this, and I'm looking forward to the actual early access release. Mainly, I'm looking forward to lobby system and potentially having some more customizable runs. I want to have a four-player run of this. I also really hope they... I really hope they actually make it so that uh, chests are instanced. I don't really like competing with people for power-ups. It, it often makes me pick some optimal perks, uh, just because...
That's I have max HP or oh. Yeah, it's probably a good upgrade on you. There we are. Ranger cannon. Yep. Add pretty good. No homing, but uh, they should mulch some bosses. Yep. I have become I have become Apex. Let's see, was there another one? Ow. Rude. Oh, there is. Yeah, there was another set of spawners there. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, me like you'd be cannon. Uh, let's see. None of those that are that helpful. Looks like chess of plenty, but I'm pretty sure you guys have picked them clean. I guess at this point, though. Like, I'm pretty ridiculously strong anyway. I could be stronger. Is, I think, my usual answer here. Okay. That was weird. Stop moving for like a hot second. Okay. No dice on the axe for me. What we got here. Have that, and I'm pretty sure I saw there was. There we go. Okay, there's a purple gun there. Not actually sure if that's that helpful. Okay. I'm just gonna pick that up. None of these fights here matter. Well, and that's tapped out. Whose gun is this for? Ranger Cannon, it's just worse than what I've got. Laser gets bigger with clip size. What happens if you get a clip size mod? Unfortunately, it does not work that way. I wish it did, because that would be frankly incredible. Grab that. Lethal dice. Ooh. I wish there were red crits in this game. I think that would be huge. Being able to over crit would be wild. Because, yeah, my crit chance is currently 117%. Alright. And is is this Lambo? I do big number. Like a 200,000 crit swing on that one. Yeah, I just wish I didn't have to let go to fire. But it's okay. This is why I wanted to play this character. She just absolutely smacks. I don't really need the pumpkin candy. We got in this one. 
You need poison effects? Sure. Why not? Oh, did you die again? Ouch. Oh. Well. But yeah, I would love it if increasing clip size just made uh, this gun just do big beam. Let's go double skill duration so I can keep the power boost longer. Yeah, it didn't work. I wish it did. All right. I'm Hamboy. We must fight. It's you, me, and Gear Man. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I really should have picked up the sniper scope earlier when I had the chance. Ow. Ow. Rude. I guess I died? I'm not sure how that happened. But I guess it did. Weird. I had a lot of HP, but I guess, I don't know, I must have just gotten whapped out by the, um... Uh, let's see, whapped by just like a laser or something, I'm not sure. Oh well, alas, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Investing in damage control might also be worth it at some point, but you know what's more important to me right now? Pumping bunches and bunches of points into this whole skill cooldown relation thing. Unfortunately, it's going to take a long time before that actually really has a meaningful effect, but still. If the threat enemies are kind of a problem, they end up stronger than bosses most of the time. Guess we're going to go faster. Oh well. Anyway, this is fun as heck. Uh, so one last time before we uh, before we sign off on this. Uh, so Anvil is available now on uh, Steam to play test, not to buy. Uh, so if you guys want to play this yourselves, uh, go check out the Steam page. Request access, and you can play and have access to everything you've seen here and more. Because I didn't actually check out all the characters. I really just kind of picked my favorites. I really should try like Mountain and Rush, especially at some point, but that'll be later. Anywho, uh, let's see. So, the other thing is, of course, that, uh, I guess the the timer command goes by every once in a while, but I guess, uh, I guess it is currently not rolling, but there is a, uh, there's a specific Discord for Anvil, uh, that you can join, uh, give feedback, interact with the community, and, uh, once they actually add matchmaking, find other players to play with that will that be around. Is, oh, wait, no, we're back on the missile again. I was like, why is my laser so small? And the answer is, oh, yeah, of course. Anywho. So, with all of that, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Probably, I mean, I'll definitely be back for when this game comes out. Because I'm having a lot of fun. And I want to see what they do with, like, more enemies, more power-ups. And I'd actually really love to see if you could get some alternate skills to slot in. Because uh, I'd love to make this character into an absolute support machine. Even further than she's already been.